Hi there, welcome to this lesson. Let me start by apologizing for taking so long to do it. I know I promised to do it uh, two months ago, but meanwhile I've been uh, very busy and sorry for taking so long to do it. Uh, I will do the lesson in the original key of the song because that's the key that most people had requested on the previous video. So my first five strings are tuned half step below and the sixth string it's tuned two steps below. I will demonstrate the three different parts we have in the song, the A part, B and the C part, which I call the verse, the chorus and the bridge. And then I will explain each part separately, okay? So let's start demonstrating the intro and the verse. <laughs> Once again to the verse. And now the third part which I call the chorus. Okay, so these are the three parts we have on the song. So the first part we have on the song, it's the intro, uh, which is played, uh, as you can see here on the tab below. There are some differences on this tab uh, in relation to the first one that I published on the first video. Some notes that I noticed that were not uh, exactly correct. So it is played like this. I will use the thumb on the bass note and the index and middle on the other notes alternating mostly between these two fingers sometimes I also use the third um, the ring finger here on the third string for example there on the second bar uh, so let me uh, simplify this um, intro part okay second chord this passing tones Passing tone to the last chord. Uh, once again. Then on the verse, the only difference really is there on the second bar that you don't play. Three, 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 zero, one. You just play three. You rest here on this note, which is an E. I'm talking as if I was in the center tuning. And then you move to the other chord, okay? Or you could do, you play that zero as a passing note for the next chord on the third bar. So the verse will be like this. play that zero as a passing note like this uh, these chords um, they really demand some practice to, to get used to it okay and here on this guitar are not so easy to play it Although we are um, tuning the guitar offset below, the 
you don't have to press so much to play the strings but this guitar it's thinner here on the neck it's just 43 millimeters and sometimes it is difficult that we don't mute the other strings but if you practice um, taking some time you will see that you will be able to do these chords the next part we have on the song it's the P part which I call the chorus and it's played here in minor tens and major tens mostly with fingers 1 and 4 and the positions that we'll use uh, you can see also on the tab are frets 3 and 6 5 and 7 10 and 12 8 and 11 we also used 1 and 4 the last chord will be this C sharp minor 0, 4, 2 and 1 Okay, let me simplify this part. Now on the first time. So here on the first chord I'm playing two notes at the same time, second chord the same thing, and here also the two notes at the same time, okay? So this part, once again, I do the slide, play the first note on the, up beat, the, the beat, second note on the up beat, and I do the slide, and I also play this third chord on the up beat. Then alternate between the thumb, play the thumb alone, then these two notes at the same time, then the thumb alone once again. Uh, I go to this chord um, like this. I, I play thumb and then the middle here on the first string. Maybe I can play this part just until this point. open string then uh, I slide my fourth string here to the sixth position and play this note and then this third fret okay and I play this phrase three times uh, so everything play yeah, this chord this one and I go for this one here okay like this down down up down down up down down up down up down down up down down up down I just drum this part here okay and this is it concerning this second part the third part of the song, uh, which I call the chorus, is just played with these three positions, fret 3 and 6, um, 2 frets below, frets 1 and 4, and this chord, which is uh, C sharp minor, um, I mute the fifth string with my middle finger touching them, touching it, okay? So 0, X, 2 and 1. Just hear these G notes. On this chord, it is very important that you mute the, all the other strings. You just want to hear these two notes. All the other ones are muted. Just touch the other uh, strings with these two fingers, okay? So you don't hear anything besides these two notes. These two and these three here. And this is played like this. You have two bars here on this chord, then you start singing. Then you always have one bar on this chord two beats on this chord, two beats on this chord, okay? And the strumming is played down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Let me simplify. Another beat, then enters the voice.
and this is it these are all the three parts that we have on the song get used to these chords that are difficult to hear at the beginning tune the guitar this way if you really want to have this sound that he has on the song and enjoy playing this song and uh, once again sorry for taking so long um, one other thing if you have interest that I do the two ghosts uh, which was a song that I really wish I had done um, some time ago but I didn't have the time but if you want me to do that song I also would like and uh, enjoy that song uh, just put on the comments that you would like me to do that song and I will do it okay so have fun and uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe. Bye. See you.